So I've been working on a little experiment for some time and I've reached a point where I kind of need some help with it. So this is a thing I'm calling Screen Generator. It's a motion graphics template that you can use directly inside of Premiere that does a lot of the sort of stuff that you'd have to go into After Effects to do. So we're talking, you know, 3D sort of real-time looking reflections, you know, faked sort of pixelization type effects, um, depth of field, camera options, dynamic camera moves, things like that. We partnered this year with Premium Beat for Free Week where we're giving away a free thing every day for one week. We put out a free sample of some of our hand-drawn animated symbols. We got some other cool Mogurt stuff like this cool transition Mogurt file called Easy Transition, which will eventually be expanded into a full product. We did a bunch of work in the studio shooting some overlay assets like these volumetric god rays and some cool growing ice crystals and snow elements that are super fun to play around with. So if you haven't, definitely check some of that stuff out. It's all free to download right now thanks to Premium Beat. And that leads us to the last freebie of Free Week screen generator which is kind of a passion project of mine i often find myself needing to make screen capture footage look a little bit more interesting i always have to go into after effects and do some dynamic camera moves things like that depth of field just little tricks to make it look more interesting so i've been wanting to find a way to move a lot of those sort of effects out of after effects and into premiere and obviously a really great way to try and do that is with mogerts if you don't know what a Mogurt is yet, it's basically a file type that essentially bridges the gap between After Effects and Premiere. So you can kind of set certain parameters, set things up in a certain way where inside of Premiere you can customize a motion graphic template that would you know, otherwise be only achievable in After Effects. So your home base is gonna be the Essential Graphics panel. This is where all of it's stored usually. As you can see, I've already got them pulled up right here. These, these, This is actually one of the other freebies that we put out for Free Week. So to install a Mogurt, there are a few different ways you can do it. Um, there's my favorite way, and then there's uh, kind of the less um, organized way. To do that, all you'd have to do is just drag the Mogurt file onto this little window and it'll appear. And uh, I, you know, it's fine, you can use it that way. It, to me, it kind of, it gets a little bit messy. Everything's sort of mixed in together. So what I like to do is there's this little icon up here, this little hamburger icon. I like to click on that, go to manage additional folders. And uh, right here, you can install the folders that you have, your Mogurts that you like to use, or you know you can pick and choose for particular projects, whatever. To, to add a folder of Mogurts, you'll just hit add, and then you'll navigate to where you have it all saved. So this is where I've kind of got mine. So right here, I got screen generator, and there's this folder right here. You just click on that, and you'll say select folder, and you'll hit okay. And so, okay, nothing's happened yet. You gotta click on this little local button right here, and then you go to this little drop down and then you'll make sure that there's a check next to the screen generator mogurts little uh, drop down here and you'll click on that and so here we go we've got five different shots and really with these five shots there's kind of almost infinite ways that you can sort of customize it let's just drag something in so um let's start with this one this is bottom to top so the the each one is labeled with kind of what the shot does. So it goes from the bottom and it scrolls up and it goes to the top here. So they've actually just pretty recently and also oddly quietly um, released a feature that allows you to replace whatever is in uh, these Mogurts if you set it up that way. So this they now have media replacement enabled. So Obviously, not everyone is going to want to add a graphic of the Premium Beat homepage to their video. So we'll click on this right here. And as long as the Essential Graphics panel is open, you should see this little Edit tab open up. And so in here is where we can do all of our fun customizations and everything. So we're going to click on this little hamburger icon again, and we can say Replace from Explorer. So you can just like navigate around and find something that you want to use. Like how about this, this uh, video of this other website? That's a cool website. Um, so we can, you know, throw that in there. And, you know, if you need to, you can actually change through different scaling options. So scale to fill is probably the most used one. You can do scale to fit. Well, you can also just use these little sliders to change scale um, for the actual media element. And then you can change position, whatever you need to do. There's like position controls, you can change rotation, any of that. And if you want to, you can actually go into some different options. So screen options, 
what this is is for stuff like on this uh, see how this edge is kind of rounded especially down here you can kind of tell it's, it's a bit of a rounded edge you can go pretty crazy with how round that gets so if you want to make it a really round sort of rounded rectangle look you can do that or you can go all the way down to, to square if you want to in the camera options we have lots of cool stuff we've got depth of field so you can turn on depth of field you can change the amount of uh, zoom or focal length so if you want to go wide you can you know go super wide where you see the whole screen or you can punch in like quite a bit and get really really close you can change the aperture if you want to and that's just going to make more kind of blurriness towards the edges it's going to change sort of the fall off of the amount of depth of field that you get and you can even change the blur amount so you can you can jack this up real high and get pretty crazy with it and then we also have style options and so this is reflections and pixelization you can change the amount of blurriness of the reflections if you just kind of want them to be a little more subtle i like to leave that pretty low and you can just change the opacity of each of these different types of reflections. We'll go to pixelization and let's turn that on. So now, um, I'm, I'm not sure how much of this is coming through with compression, but there's a very subtle kind of pixelated look. I'm not sure if the, here's the AB on that. So it's getting kind of pixelated. Now, let's say you want it way more pixelated looking. Well, we have pixel thickness, so we can kind of change the amount that it sort of looks pixelated as you start to do that the image will get darker so i added this little brightness compensation slider so as you make thicker pixels you can kind of make your your overall image brighter to sort of compensate for that and so then we can go into the color correction and finishing options this is just an overall kind of finishing color and contrast it just sort of marries everything together you can use it you cannot use it it's not you know it's up to you um, you could add your own color correction. It's not really like scientific in any way. It's just like, I was like, this looks kind of better with this on. It kind of looks, yeah, I'll just add that. We have vignette, so you can turn on vignette. You can change the darkness of the vignette itself. You know, we've got glow. If you want to make it kind of glowed out, you can change the glow radius, glow threshold, and then, you know, just grain. If you want to, sometimes you get a little banding there. You can see some banding in little areas. I, you know, I, I like to use grain sometimes to sort of smooth some of that stuff out. I do recommend that the footage that you put in should uh, ideally match 1920 by 1080. Sometimes there's like some little bugs and stuff that happen if you put in like a super giant image or a super small image, it's obviously going to start looking pixelated or weird. So this is a bit of a beta test, if you will. I'm working on a lot of like deeper versions of it that you know use a lot more effects and a lot more uh, shot choices and things like that. But I kind of wanted to test and see how it works on a lot of other people's machines. It might be a little too heavy. Uh, I just want to see on a, on a large scale, how is this actually working for people? Just give us feedback, like leave comments here or wherever. Just let us know like how well it's working for you if it's you know a valuable tool for you or helpful anyways thank you guys so much for giving this a try thanks for checking out free week head over to premium beat check out the rest of the free week assets it's free it's free check it out uh you'll also find some like coupons for discounts on shutterstock stuff film bodega stuff just go check it out we worked really hard on it we love giving away stuff for free and we hope you guys enjoy and again let me know what you think of screen generator Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next video.